Hey everyone, my name is Rami Raiden. Today I'm going to share with you how to create video reels for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with creating new project. We start with the file, create a new project. We choose the location. So we name our project and then press create. The next step, we need to check the workspace that we're using. So we go to Windows, Workspace, and then we choose the editing one. This is the best workspace for editing. In the project panel, we right click and then press on import so we can import our video files. We locate our video files and then select them to import and press import. Now we have all the videos we need in the project panel. We create a new bin, right to click, create a new bin and name it, whatever you want to name it. You select all the clips and drag it to the bin. Double click your first video and make sure it's playing well. Now we want to create a new sequence. So we right click on the project panel and select new item sequence. And then we have to choose the size. I suggest you choose the digital SLR and then from the setting tab, adjust the resolution, switch it to 1080 by 1920. That's the best resolution for the video reels, whether on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. Name the sequence and press OK. Now the sequence is ready, so we can drag the clips that we want. So we play the videos and then select the endpoint or press I on the keyboard and select the out point by pressing O. So I for the endpoint and O for the out point and then we drag it to the sequence. Here it's going to ask us if we want to keep existing setting or change sequence setting we do keep existing setting because we're gonna modify the size to the video reel requirement. If you are importing from uh, iPhone uh, 4K videos, you'll find that uh, Adobe uh, has a problem and issue reading them with the color profile. So we need to adjust this manually. So we right click on the footage, modify, interpret footage, then we choose color space override. I chose the Rec 210, 200. So I tried with this one and it's still the same issue. So let me try a different one. It depends on which profile it's using. So we press again, modify, interpret footage, and we go down color space override and we choose a different one. Now I'm going to choose Rec 2020 scene and I guess it works. So this is how to fix any footage coming from iPhone was filmed with a 4K resolution. So it's working good. No issue. Same color. So I go next to the second video and I choose a different scene. Select your end point. Select your out point, select only the video and drag the video to the timeline, the sequence. Same thing with the video, with the color profile, we have to change it to the correct one. So I select the whole videos, right to click, 
then press modify, interpret footage, then color space override, and I choose the Rec 2020 scene, and now it's it's working great. Here I want to show you that some of my videos were shot with the 4K and the other were shot with the HD. So the resolution for the 4K videos are 3840 by 2160 while the resolution for the HD was 1920 by 1080. So that's why you'll see in the timeline, you'll see different sizes. I'm going to show you later how to adjust this. So I continue by dragging the scenes that I want to the timeline. And now I'm going to show you how to adjust this HD video. I'm going to go to the effect control and select the scale. I'm going to adjust the size to around 180. And if you see, uh, I want the screen to be centered. So I adjust the positioning so I can make the screen centered or the object, the moving object centered. Now this scene is going a little bit fast, so I want to slow it down. So you can right to click, select the speed duration, and then adjust the speed to by 60. So you can have a slow motion in this video. I'll make sure all the videos are good the way I want it. So this scene, I don't want it. So I go with the selection tool and adjust the length. So I want it to stop here. So I drag it here and then make sure to delete, ripple delete any empty space on the timeline. So we don't get a black screen. So now I'm gonna add some video transitions to the video the scenes select cross dissolve and put it drag it to the cut between the two videos two scenes do you see the cut is smooth changing the transition making transition from one video to another you can try different transition can play with each one try it if you like it now it's time to export the video so we go to file export media we want to use the format that match the video reels we created to match instagram facebook or tiktok so first we select the location where we want to export the video to Make sure to know which one. I usually create a folder named export so I don't lose them and name it. And now for the format, you can select from the preset Facebook 1080 full HD. If you don't find it, go to more preset, type Facebook, and then you'll find it Facebook 1080 full HD. You should go to the video tab and you do match source. So you can have the same resolution 1080 by 1920. This is a very good high resolution for your reels. And press export. Now your video is ready and here we go. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you with other videos. You'll see me with more videos.